Well, I think the fire uh, near Hope, um, it was something I was commenting on uh, in a couple of videos ago. I think it grew again to about 520, 540 hectares today. But the wind has changed, so it's probably trying to burn back on itself, which could certainly prove helpful for the people who are trying to uh, trying to douse it. Uh, anyway, so on to this. I think... No, I don't think. I know I was lazy. I When I first drew this out, I thought, oh, I'm going to make a really interesting silhouette here. Interesting background. And the front, well, the foreground, rather. I could do all kinds of things with it, and, and it wouldn't have to ha have much content as long as it supported the scene. Uh, but a third of this canvas is foreground, and it needs to be, it needs to have some reasonably thought out content in it, just for the sake of giving it some visual value. Also, it can be used to... Oh, excuse me. Heartburn. It can be used to uh, to support what I've got going on here. So now, I've decided that I'm going to stay with this creek that is not frozen over, and it sort of flows into or out of this lake, and I've begun to paint in... Uh, well, as you can see, I've opened this up quite a bit. I'm not worried about this stuff, that, that's, I know what to do with that. But I've opened this up so you can see some of the frozen lake in behind here. And I've begun to, to show more of a stream bank more accurately. Um, flowing, or you know, sort of dropping down into the creek bed. What I have a tendency to do, and that's because, that's born of laziness, is I would like to because our hill is going down, I'll tend to take the brush and, you know, draw, lay in all these brush strokes sort of in the same downward direction because, of course, it's dropping down. Um, bad idea. It's good to have a bunch of that, but it's really where you place your values and your lines that's going to dictate that. Your brush strokes can aid and support that, but if you do too much of it, you end up with a very monotonous bunch of brush strokes and we know monotony is one of the biggest enemies of good design. So I've started to lay in strokes in different areas and come up with all, albeit a, a less important design than, than, than the sort of the, the main the main view. It's important enough that it has to be subdued but it has to be well done. So that's what I'm beginning to work on now. I'm being, I'm, I'm very slow with it. Uh, if it were rock, it would be easier for me just because I'm more used to rock, but it's not, it's snow. You have to be subtle with the values, have to be sticking within the same uh, family of colors that I've used in the rest of the painting. And yeah, be gentle with the values. And I sometimes struggle with, with my values. Sometimes I can go too high or too low in value. Just takes playing. All right, that's all I've got for you. I am sorry that I'm revisiting this painting so much. This is probably the 20th paint or the 20th video on this painting. I haven't gotten other canvases yet, and I take you along with me as I produce work. I still don't show you everything that I do, but it's sort of a timeline. I don't have a, a queue with, with 10 videos in it. I, I just sort of take quick, amateurish, one-off uh, uh, clips as things are going on. I hope that's okay. Uh, if you'd prefer that I just leave this alone, wait till it's done and show you, I can do that too. Um, but it'll also mean uh, fewer videos because I can only produce so quickly. <laughs> okay, I hope that's okay with you. Have a good day, guys. See you. Bye.